Stage three? Stage four? Stage five. Okay, are, are we leaving now? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Cryofall, where you may notice a little gap in the base here. Yeah, I've taken down the old oil refiner, the petroleum extractor, whatever it is we get oil out of the ground with. I destroyed it finally so I can upgrade to the better one, because my really limiting factor right now is not so much the plastics or the mineral oil from the oil refinery. The refinery's doing fine. That just chugs along. But I can't get the raw oil out of the ground fast enough to put it back into the refinery. So we're going to make a better one. I've got some, uh, yeah, there we go. I've got some cement cooking along in here. I think I need a couple more of those. Much to do today. Much to do. I have a lot of things on the agenda. Am I going to get all of them done? Probably not, but I'm going to make a decent attempt. While that's chugging along, I've also put together everything I need somewhere to build, yes, the Kenite Extractor. So the really, the only thing I was missing was the batteries, and those are really easy to make. Don't know why I held off on this for so long, except I haven't really needed Kenite up until this point. So I've got some raw Kenite, I made some high-tech components, got some steel. Let's make a Kenite extractor, and while I'm crafting that, I betcha I've made enough cement to build my petroleum Hoosie McWudson. Okay, one advanced oil pump, please. This is going to take me darn near forever to put together, but I've got all the bits for it. So this will run off the power grid, which is totally fine. I have plenty of power. There's a generator or two that don't even do anything because we don't need the power. I should probably deconstruct them at some point, but it's not high priority. Really what I want is to get more oil out of the ground so I can put it in the refinery. Oh, that's looking a lot better. There we go. Okay, we're doing nothing right now, but that's fine. It's just going to chug along there. And it looks good too. That's kind of the important thing here. Now I finished my Kenite extractor. So where did that end up living? There it is. Uh, that could go, where, do, where does that go? Is that over there? Is that over there? There we go. So I should be able to, with any of the mutant-y kind of things, extract Kenite from them. I want to get another one of the biomaterial collectors going as well, but not, again, high priority, not desperately needed at this point. All right. That was part one of the insane amount of things that I'd like to get done, but probably won't today. Uh, you know what? You can go live up there, soft drink. I don't really need you in my inventory slot. What I'd like to work on is some of the better armor. So I've been relying on the apart suit for a while, and it's a great suit. Good, you know, sort of physical protection and fantastic environmental protection. But I'd like to upgrade. I'd like to see if we can, this may be a bit of a dream, get into the super heavy armor. Now, given that the name is heavy, it does indeed reduce your speed and you can't run. But look at that protective value. I mean, that's just ludicrous. You are practically impervious from harm. And I have a lot of the stuff I need. Aramid fiber I can make eventually. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a production to do it, but I can make it. The ballistic plate is going to be the thing that kind of holds me up a little bit. Remind me, please, what it takes to make ballistic plate. I can actually do some of it right now, but again, it's going to be the plastic. The plastic is going to be the limiting factor. Do I have enough? If I grab maybe some coal, I think I've got enough to do one more thing of plastic here. Uh, yeah, you know what? May as well make it. You know what? Make the two of them. There we go. I'm, I'm just going to chug along, much like I did with Manuel. I'm just going to start to put the pieces together as we go back and forth. And then when I've got it, I've got it. I'll go ahead and put you guys over in the armor box because that's where you should live. Armor goes over there along with all my animal bits. I could put those in the biofuel generators, but those are also full. I don't really need any power and I don't need to be throwing bones or animal fat over there. I see you finished my cement. Thank you very much. And as I just tidy up my inventory here, the only other real between episode crafting that I did is make some more ammo for the Steppenhawk. So a little bit more ammo for that. Plasma rifle's almost done, and it's not a small amount to put together the stuff for a plasma rifle. So I don't know if I'm going to get another one of those immediately, but we will definitely work on that. Actually, take those empty canisters. We'll put those down in the petroleum thing. All of my components can go up here. There we go. The Steppenhawk ammo is so ludicrously simple to make. I, you know, it's, it's silly not to rely on it. It's a slow firing weapon to be sure, and I'm still going to primarily use laser because, you know, laser 
but it's a great weapon. And I've got my helium grenades ready to go in the grenade launcher because grenade launcher. Tuck these guys into here. There we go. Already got a couple of petroleums already. And the last thing that I want to make for today is the iron toolbox. Because where we're going, we're going to be building some stuff. And this simple toolbox is about ready to go. I don't want to get all the way to where I'm going and then this thing just bunks out on me. So I may as well make another one. Uh, this one I'll throw up in sort of my personal items box up here. And then, I don't know, I'll keep it there as a collectible or something like that. Maybe I'll make another one and put the two together. Who knows what I'll do? I never know what I'm going to do. Okay, clear out the inventory. And then we are basically ready to roll. So any iron can go up there. Thank you. And those planks can go too. Even though I'm going to need planks later, I don't need them right now. And I can make them when I get where I'm going because planks are crazy easy to make. All right. One more check. Got food. Got water. Got weapons. How's my inventory looking? Pretty tight. Not bad. This drone is about to go. Going to keep the dynamite on me because we may head up into Pragmium territory. You can slide right down there and save me an inventory slot. Everything else ready to go. All my batteries are good. My Kenite extractor is ready to roll. Just before I leave, did you make something else? Yeah, you sure did. I like you already. When I get back to base, I should really make some more empty canisters. Those are starting to be a little limited right now. All right, here's my plan, such as it is. I want to put together, and we've talked about this for a while, another base kind of up here, hopefully close by this teleporter, because what I'd like to be able to do is obviously teleport between base to base, or at least between teleporter to teleporter, and then just have a short walk to my base. Pragmium territory, obviously. So we're going to want to have a little bit of a home base over there, and I still have one more land claim that I can put up. There's other areas I might like it to be, like over here, which are just, frankly, a really long walk to get to. But you know what? I'll make do with what I've got. This is a more valuable territory. There's better stuff up here. Pragmium, lithium salts, really high-level ener enemies that want to murder me in the face and move really fast and are terrifying with the ouch and the oh, everything is awful. Hey, you know what? Start out with some basic mining. Ah, you know what? Before we head out, why don't we spend some of the thousands of points I've got in, you know, learning things. Ah, uh, so let's see. Yeah, I drank that liquor, so, and I drank that beverage there, the soda there. Okay, there's a few points right there. I have, what, 507 learning points. Let's spend these. Now, I can apparently preview escape. Okay. Launch pad. Tech tree is locked. Now that must be behind sort of the questy kind of things that I have to do. Or can I just spend research on that? Can I just research that? Can I do that? I've done that. Never mind. It's not locked behind that at all. Steel ingot, electronic components, high, high tech components, and dry cement mix? Are you kidding me? No, it can't be that easy. Launch pad stage two. Okay. Got it. I have 50 learning points. Stop asking me things. Yeah. And then, um,. Stage three, stage four, stage five. Okay, are, are we leaving now? We can't be leaving. It's not that easy. It can't possibly be that easy. I've been told many times in comments there's a long chain of events that you have to do to leave the planet. Just building a launch pad out of very, very basic materials ain't going to cut it. All right, what I want is stone and surprisingly just basic wood. I need just ultra basic materials like day one stuff. Because I'm not going to build like a wicked fancy base up there. I don't think I am anyway. I might. I mean, it's me. I totally might do that. But I do need the fundamentals. And I do need it to, you know, appeal to my aesthetic because it's me. So I'm really going to be grabbing basically everything. Everything on the way there. Where is the nearest teleporter from where I am right now? Oh, actually right around the corner. Or I could just walk over there. It's not that far. I'd like to get up to this area, like close to this teleporter. That would be my ideal. That will give me, ooh, this one? No, because that this is more centrally located. Yeah, that would be a better spot. Okay, I think I'll just walk then. Oh, not too much time later and a couple of fussy snakes, and I'm vague, vaguely where I want to be. Uh, let me check my old map here again. Not quite. I want to go up a little bit higher than where I am right now. Could just follow the road all the way through, but... That's basically inviting disaster. That's just waiting for somebody to eat my face. So I'm just going to keep going up this way. You're harmless. You're rocks. You're not harmless. Come on. 
You got stuck on a rock, didn't you? Well, whose fault is that, Sparky? Alrighty, I'm kind of basically where I want to be. The teleporter is right below me there. Let me, uh, well, that's as far as I can pan out. I'm kind of thinking where might be a good spot for a base around here. Let me just take uh, this guy out real quick. Except I'm not hitting him from that angle. There we go. Somebody else has got an ear on me. Come on, come on. I got you all day, Chief. Yeah, you run from laser. You'll, you'll eventually run back, though, I think. Or, you know what? I'm just going to murder all of you. I may as well gather, you know, just in case I put up the biomaterial generator things, I may as well gather some of your stuff. This might kind of be an okay spot right here. Do I feel like I want to live here? Can I just take this down completely? Let me just deforest the area here. I want to clear out my new home here. All right, get rid of that. No, get rid of that. That means you get up close to it and hit it with an axe. All right, remind me, because it's been more than a little while, what it takes for me to do... The thing, like the, the, the thing where I get to have a thing in a thing. Is that in other? There's my launch pad right there. There we go. Land claim. Planks. Already got the stones. All right. Well, I can do that from basic crafting. So, I don't... Let's not make like a zillion of them. Make, let's just make a few. Just going to explore up a little bit more. See if there's any wider areas there isn't really. This is not going to be a huge base. And I'm probably, I may not even expand it. This is just going to be a temporary setup. The goal here is to get a small base with a vehicle bay so I can teleport Manuel between two places. That's the ideal. All right, so let's get this going here. Land claim, tier one. Put it right up. All right, yeah, I'm going to, with these mountains, I am going to lose some space here. That's not ideal. Put it, what do you mean no free space? Put it right there. Don't tell me no free space. Uh, also, get rid of this. It, it offends me. Ah, I should have brought some stuff from home. Iron and copper. I could have upgraded this immediately. Okay. Um, I kind of have to remind myself how I do things like make, you know, walls and things like that. No. Go to there. Go to there. And then it's in construction. And then we want buildings. And then we want walls of some sort. Like basically just a basic wooden wall will do me fine. Actually, stone wall. I've got a fair amount of stone and clay that I've picked up. May as well do that. Ah, not quite enough to finish off the last part of my wall there. Darn, that's all right. I can find rocks really, really easily. How about a wooden wall? What do I need for that? Bunch of planks. Okay, bunch of planks, bunch of easy. Alrighty, so far so good. I'll need some more stones to finish that out. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I need some more clay to finish that out. A little tougher to find in the area, but I'll get it done. One basic room over here. I want to build some kind of bedroll or bed or something along those lines. A bed. A few more fibers. Well, a few. Quite a few more fibers, and I'm in good shape. Let me put the blueprint down first, and then I'll come back to it. Anything else I think I'm going to need while I'm out and about? Clay and fibers. I'm going to need to go east for that, going to kind of get out of the desert a little bit. I'll grab some more stones while I'm there. Obviously, I'm not going to have anything that I need to put the vehicle bay together. That's just insane. There's there's no possible way I can do that. In fact, what, uh, what do I need to do that? Um, steel? Okay. Cement and components. All right, I can bring all of those from the main base over here. Let's go back to something a little more offensively oriented and see if we can finish this out. Oh, how awesome is this? There's a clay pit literally next door. Two seconds away, there's a clay pit. Okay, all the clay in the world now lives with me. That's no problem. Didn't even see that coming in. That's fantastic. And then there's plenty of fibers in the area that I can gather to finish out the, uh, whatchamacallit, the bed. And probably my flooring. I'm going to have to finish out the flooring. I only floored the bedroom, and that's just simply not acceptable. All right, one massive quest. You know what? While I'm here, let me gather some mushrooms. I can put a little simple campfire together and get uh, some food going. I've got my MREs, but there's free food available. I may as well use it, and I've killed a bunch of things on the way here. May as well cook them. Right, are you one of the mutanty ones up there? I'm going to kill you anyway, just to see if my Kenite extractor will do any good. Um, I don't know if you are. I have more than 200 points. Yeah, I often have more than 200 points. I, I don't remember. Uh, several people told me in very early in Cryofall, there's no possible way you can get all the technologies. Yeah, there totally is. There we go unrefined kenite. Okay, the kenite extractor doing its job there. Oh, that's more sand. That's always handy for things. You know, now that I've done the bed and put the wall together, I'm not actually sure I want the bed. 
because when I pop that up, that says, now that's your active respawn point. I'd probably prefer my active respawn point was back in the main base. I'm going to leave it for now, because I'm going to be around this area for a while, so I may as well. And of course, let's make sure we completely floor the place. Okay, what's the first move? The first move is obviously some kind of storage, some kind of basic box. I can do an iron crate. I must have picked up a couple of iron ingots and junk piles somewhere right now. So let's just get that build. We'll put that, uh, say, get out of the way of the thing. Put that over here. And I'll probably just put up a, like a, no, don't, don't do that. Oh, right, it auto, it just auto builds. I don't have to rebuild it. Uh, and then put up one of the wooden crates too, you know, just in case. I know I'm standing in the cell. Now I'm not. Life is good again. At least I've got some basic storage. Do I want to set up, oh, native, na uh, blah, 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 native life forms. Which ones? Those look like the floaters. Those have been the things I've been trying to get. Those definitely don't look like the thumpers. Oh, hang on, hang on. We may have to completely rechange what we're doing today. Where where are they? Okay, they're over here, and they're not far from a teleporter. Yeah, change of plans. Uh, we're out. Now, obviously, that cost me a lot to do that, so let's have a quick snack. Uh, you know what? Have another one of those. Uh, yeah, have another one of those. There we go. And then let's use... I should have some med kits up. I should have dumped my inventory before I started doing this. I don't know what these guys give up. Got one mid med kit left. I may as well get that going. It's a nice little boost of healing. And I'm just going to kind of... I've got half an hour of real world time. I've got half an hour. I'm just going to kind of scout it out for right now. I'm just going to poke my nose up there. Oh, that's a bear. That's a bear. I mean, we can take bears, but, you know, we don't have to actively poke the bear, as the kids say these days. We could avoid the bear if we wanted to avoid the bear. Like, there's almost no point in wasting the ammo on bears these days. I should have, I don't know how tough these floaters are, but I should have enough left in my plasma rifle that I can do it with plasma if I need to. Oh, finally waiting to get this box ticked off. Oh, I wish I could pan out a little bit more. There we go. My health is already basically back up to top. Not worried about that. I'd love to pan out a little bit more and see farther in the future, or at least down the road a little bit. Oh, um, hi. I will grab some Keenite from you, actually. Uh, seeing as you're here, I may as well. Uh, let's get some more unrefined Keenite. Obviously, I'll probably have to build something out of that to do anything with it. I don't know... Oh, there'll probably be plastic in here. That would be great if there were. Yes. Even one plastic is one more plastic than I had the last time. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a thing. That is definitely, definitely a thing. Um, actually, we're doing fine. We're, we're fine. Hang on, we're fine. Uh, you, you're a boar. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A wolf. Did you see what I... And a bear. Did you, see, did you all see what I just took out? Did you see what I just did? And you guys all decided to have a poke at me. Never mind, we're fine. Uh, floaters, not, not actually that big deal. Nothing really cool out of them. Some Keenite, I mean, that's fun. I'm using, well, I will be using that more and more. Okay, uh, well, let's get all of your stuff out of here. And get your stuff and your stuff. Do I want to bother killing any more if it's just Keenite? Because with the Keenite extractor, I can kind of get my own Keenite, although I'll need to refine it, no doubt. Might just poke it one more if they're there. Yep, found one, found one, found a floater and a chicken. Floater and a chicken, okay. There we go. Take you out, take you out, take you out, take you out. Yeah, they're not that bad. I can cope with that surprisingly well. I mean, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised myself. Alrighty. Um, great. More salt, more... Oh, actually, I didn't even see the rubber the last time. You know what? That rubber is more valuable to me than the key, uh, key night is. I've been rather lax in gathering rubber. I should have been gathering more of it as I've been going along. And while I'm here, I'm just going to uncover a little bit of fog of war here for no other reason than just to flesh out the map. I think I'm good with the floaters. I killed one. It's done. There's some good stuff in it, but, you know, not where I'm going to actively go and find it again if it pops up. More importantly, finally got this ticked off. Yes, I have completed all available quests. I, all. This is not something you see when I play games very often. You have completed all available quests. I gotta go tell Mrs. Dave about this. This is a red letter day. Unfortunately, I wandered kind of far away unclearing the fog of war there. 
I'm going to make a line for this teleporter to bring me down to the teleporter that's near my main base to kind of wrap up. Or we'll come back to the second base next time. I want to keep working on that a little bit. Make myself, I don't know, kind of a weird little pragmium farming area where I can take out the beetles and the uh, the spires of pragmium all at once. But for right now, I just want to want to go home. It's been a long day. You know, I say that out loud, day, night, doesn't really matter. I can see in the dark. I haven't looked at the little clock up here in, I don't know, like game months. I have no idea what time it is. Now, just for argument's sake, since I've been gone... Oh yeah, this thing's already full. Already full, yep. That, that's a good move, I think. Um, yeah, I definitely need to make more empty canisters. That's going to be part of my problem. I'll throw these in here because I need the mineral oil far more than I need the gasoline. Way more. I'm, I'm swimming in gasoline right now, which is a terrible idea. You really shouldn't swim in gasoline. It's not good for you. But over in my vehicle box here, I got 60 gasoline. I've just left some more behind. I am fine on gasoline. Just for giggly argument's sake, just for having the conversation. What does it... Where, first of all, is that... Whole, yeah, launch pad. All right, steel, electronic components, high-tech, and dry cement mix. I may or may not have all of those things on hand. Now, I'll need to cook up some more dry cement mix for a start. That's just beginning. I need more than, more than that. I also, somewhere along here, I just saw in my inventory... Come here, come here. Uh, yeah, I got some cucumber seeds. Don't know where I picked those up, but hey, may as well put them in here somewhere. There we go. And let's just go ahead and water that. Thank you very much. So much water in there. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Cryofall for today. Second base up and running. Floaters done. All. All. A-L-L. -L, all quests completed in Cryofall. Never thought I'd see that coming when I picked up this game. I honestly, I've said this before, but I thought I was going to do like a little mini series on Cryofall, three, four episodes and call it a day. But this game is way more fun than it has any right to be. And we've kept plugging along all this time. Next time, what I want to do is keep working on base number two and start getting some more pragmium under control so I can work in the direction of, well, a lot of things. But I do want to keep working on the better armor thing. And for that, I need more of that ballistic plate. And for that, I need more plastic. That new oil refinery or the oil pump or whatever it is I'm doing better that I didn't do before is working out great. I should make some more empty canisters between episodes. I'll certainly do quite a bit of between episode crafting as I normally do. But guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Cryofall. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, for, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. It's quarter of six in the middle of northern Siberia. I have no pants on, and I'm going bird watching. This is what we're doing right now. And why did the robot dogs make their off switch in such a blindingly obvious place that anyone could reach? I mean, it seems to me when the robot dog apocalypse comes, it's going to be fairly manageable. Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer? Or is it just stuck on the nature channel? Okay. All right. Oh, God. A new incident. Um, childbirth. You know what? You know what, lady? Lady? We've been doing this for billions of years. Do you think you can handle this one by yourself, please?